Hi, Haley. Uh, do you prefer red or white wine today? Uh, tell me and I'll pick some up. Whoa, someone's in a good mood. What's the occasion, Jacob? I thought you were out for drinks with your co-workers tonight. Is it over? Yes, it is. I'm already at the liquor shop in town to pick up some wine for you now. So, red or white? Hmm, I don't know, though. I have so much to do tomorrow morning. I couldn't finish cleaning today, and I have to do laundry. Should I even have a drink? I don't want to be hungover while doing all the chores. You don't have to worry about the chores. I'm off tomorrow, so let me take care of it. So, you can have as much as you want tonight. Really? Are you sure? What's gotten into you? <laughs> Are you trying to butter me up because you want something from me? No, I just think you deserve to sit down and enjoy the evening over some good wine. And I'm also trying to show you my appreciation. Uh, I've been inspired by my co-workers. We were talking about how we should appreciate our wives more. Ah, I see. What led you guys to talk about that, though? Did someone do something? <laughs> no, nothing in particular. You know, it was just the flow of the conversation. We were just talking about each other's families. Wow, I didn't know you boys had that kind of deep talk. It's nothing deep, I just, it just happened, it just happened to be a topic tonight. You know what I mean, Haley. Stop teasing me. <laughs> All right. So you wanted to give me some chill time? Yeah, I, I thought you might enjoy it. I know you like to have some wine from time to time, but since we had Dylan, I know you haven't been able to drink much. You've been nursing him less, especially at night, so I thought maybe it's okay for you to enjoy some wine like you used to before kids. Yeah, I, I think I am done breastfeeding him. He has stopped asking for it, especially since he doesn't wake up at night now. It's been so long since I've had any kind of alcohol, it didn't even cross my mind that I could drink now. So, sure, why not? Especially if you'll do the housework tomorrow morning. Will. You deserve it. I know you barely have time to relax taking care of two kids while I'm not home. And on top of that, you take care of all the housework every day. I really do appreciate all that you do for us. So, you should spread your wings out tonight and relax. I'm just doing what any stay-at-home mom would do. You don't have to be so dramatic about it. <laughs> well, I'm just saying I don't take what you do for granted. You've been a great mom and wife. I'm thankful and I want to show you my appreciation by doing something for you. Aw, thank you, honey. I am so touched. You're going to make me cry. It means a lot for you to say that. It pushes me to be even better. I realize I don't say these things too often to you because I'm a shy guy. But I do know our family wouldn't be as happy as if it wasn't for everything that you do. So, like I said, let me handle everything tomorrow morning and you just chill as much as you want tonight. Thank you. Okay then, can you pick up a bottle of white wine? I'll enjoy a couple of glasses and sleep in tomorrow morning. Don't get too wasted though. I don't want you to regret anything later. You can for sure. I know, I know. I won't drink like I'm in my early 20s. I'll be responsible. But I'm still counting on you waking up early tomorrow. Oh, but don't expect me to get an A-plus on all the chores. It's just me, not the ultimate housekeeper. I can't do any of the chores as good as you do. It's okay. Just give it your best. Besides, I'm never perfect at anything either. I'm sure Izzy will help you out, though. You know, she's been really cute lately, saying she's old enough to do this and that. She's been quite helpful with the chores. How cute of her. She must have developed a sense of responsibility since she's becoming a big sister. I'm so proud of her. Having a baby brother at home is one reason for sure, but also since she started second grade, she's become very mature. Probably because she has more interactions with children from the lower grades. In other words, she's become a bit bossy. <laughs> I think it's a good thing that she has learned to be mindful of smaller children. And I adore that she is bossy. <laughs> I will let her take the lead tomorrow then. It's just satisfy the both of us, right? Yes, for sure. She'll be over the moon. All right. I'm on my way home now. 
Okay, be careful. I look forward to seeing you and my wine. Hey, Haley, we'll be on our way home soon. Do you have anything else you'd like me to pick up? No, I'm good. Thanks for asking. How is Izzy? Is she being good? She's been really great. I didn't know where to find some of the stuff on the list, but Izzy knew exactly where they were. She was like, oh, that's in aisle three. Follow me. It was really helpful and very funny. I'm glad you guys had fun. Did you find everything you needed to cook me dinner? I'm so excited for my surprise. I don't know if it'll come out any good, but I'll do my best. Hey, sorry to change the topic, but has Izzy talked to you about piano lessons? Piano? No, I don't think so. What about it? She just told me while we were shopping. She wants to learn how to play the piano. Really? She hasn't mentioned anything about it to me. I didn't think she was interested in music. She's become interested because her friends from school are taking piano lessons. And one of the teachers let her play with the piano in music class. She like she enjoyed it very much. So she asked me if she could start taking lessons. Is that so? Well, it's the first time I've heard of it. Are you sure she means it? Uh, like she could be a spur of the moment, don't you think? I think she means it, but... What is it? It's kind of odd. Because she's saying that you'd say no. That's apparently why she's told me and not you. I told her you wouldn't say such a thing for no reason. I don't know where she got that idea. Well, it's a no. What? What is? She can't take piano lessons. We can't afford it. Do you know how expensive it is to learn music? Can't afford it? Haley, what are you talking about? Of course we can. You don't know anything about our finances. You earn it, but I handle paying the bills and everything. I know exactly where we stand, and I'm telling you, we can't afford it. I'm not questioning your ability to manage our money, but are you sure? Because it's hard to believe that my salary is not enough to afford a child with a piano lesson. Well, you are wrong. You don't know how expensive it is to raise two children. Cost of living has risen so much in the past few years, I've been shopping at discount stores lately to save as much as possible. Your pay may not be low, but that doesn't mean we're wealthy. Letting her learn piano is a completely different story. Haley, I just checked a minute ago. The cost is between 100 bucks to 200 bucks a month if she takes class every week. It's not cheap, but it's not something I can't pay for. There has to be a way we can let her take lessons. Spending an extra hundred bucks is not acceptable. Have you been following? I am telling you, I've been shopping at discount stores. Why do you think I would go an extra mile to shop there? Because we're tight on money. Okay, okay. What if I pay for my personal account? Why would you do that? You said that lunch around your office is so expensive that if you go out with colleagues too much, you wouldn't have much left a month. I did say that, but I don't mean that to the extent that where I can't even pay for my daughter's piano lessons. I mean, a hundred bucks or two? Don't you think letting her do what interests her is worth the money? No, I don't think so, and it's not fair to you. And I don't want to feel like I owe you. What? Come on, honey. I don't think that's fair. In fact, it bothers me more that I can't even pay for what my daughter wants to do. You know, I think it took her courage to speak up, so I don't want to let her down. It's not only about the money. If she starts to take lessons, someone has to take her to every time. That's true. She is way too young to go on her own. She is. So you see, it's not possible. I have all the housework and a baby to take care of. Do you know how busy I am after she comes home from school? Preparing dinner, helping her with housework, bathing two children, it's impossible. But you were taking her in a car, right? Not by foot or anything? It'd only take a few minutes then. I'm sure there's a way to work things out. Only a few minutes? You can freely suggest these things because you don't do anything at home. You are so irresponsible. You are not considering how much burden it would put on me to squeeze in some stupid piano lessons, which she probably won't even take seriously. I am telling you, it's not happening. 
Hey, calm down. I know you do a lot for the family. What if we ask my mom to take her then? She lives close enough and she's always asking if there's anything she could do to help us out. If we ask her, I'm sure she won't say no. You want to bring your mother into this petty issue? Jacob, please don't do anything to embarrass me. I don't want her to think I can't handle raising these children. I wouldn't be able to look her in the eyes from the shame. Besides, she's old. You want to use your elderly mother to drive Izzy back and forth? Haley, seriously, you are overreacting. My mom knows how busy you are. Enough, Jacob. We are done with this conversation. I am in charge of taking care of the children. So if I say no, it means no. I will talk to Izzy myself and explain to her why she can't take the lessons. What are you going to tell her? Are you going to make her give up? She won't even understand anything about finances. She's too young for that. I wish you would stop being so easy on her. All you do is kiss her ass and give her whatever she wants. I'm the one who has to deal with the aftermath, you know? She screams at me saying she hates me because I have to stop her from doing as she pleases. Do you know how draining that is? It's not fair. Haley, you were changing the subject. No, I'm not. This is totally related. You don't even realize it because you only do whatever you want to with the kids. I am left with all the tasks that are harder or involve them screaming at me. I don't exactly prefer it, you know? All right, all right. I'm sorry. But will you take a closer look at your daily agenda, please? There has to be some time she could take lessons. This is the first time she has ever raised her hand like this. This is Izzy growing up, Haley. You know it, right? We should try to answer to her feelings as much as possible. Yeah, but... Just take a closer look, please. Think about it for a day or two. I understand this is just another burden for you. But we shouldn't ignore Izzy's feelings. Please, Haley. I'm begging you as Izzy's father. Hi, Daddy. Are you done with work? Hi, sweetie. I'm almost done, but still at work. But I'm happy that you messaged me. Are you sending this on the tablet? Have you done your homework already? It's almost bedtime for you, princess. I'm done with homework. But I don't think I can go to bed. I'm not sleepy. I see. But you should get into bed anyway when it's time. I don't want you to be sleepy at school tomorrow. I know, Daddy, but that's not why I messaged you. There's something wrong with Dylan. What do you mean? What's the matter? He doesn't look well. He, he looks very pale. And he's not moving very much. What? Since when? I don't really know. I just saw him a minute ago before I messaged you. Should I do something about it? Do you think Dylan is just sleeping? You need to tell your mom now. Tell her she needs to take him to the hospital right away. But, Daddy, Mommy's not home. She left in the morning and hasn't been back since. That's why I messaged you. Because I didn't know what to do. She hasn't been back? How do you know she's been out since the morning? You had school today, didn't you? You wouldn't have an idea when she left? I've been home all day. She told me I had to stay home to watch Dylan because Mommy had important work and had to go somewhere. So it's just been us two all day. She left you to watch over Dylan? You're joking, right? Uh, are you okay? Yes, I'm okay. Mommy's made me babysit Dylan a couple of times now, so I'm used to it. Daddy, what should I do about Dylan? Is he going to be okay? Daddy, are you there? Sorry, I'm here. I'm just shocked to hear that your mother has left you two on your own. You have to tell me what I should do. Dylan looks uncomfortable. It's all right, dear. I'm on my way home right now. I'll be there in no time. Really? You'll come home? Of course. But it's going to take 30 minutes to get back. I'm going to call Miss Smith from next door to check on Dylan in case he needs an ambulance. 
Will you open the door for her when she arrives and show her where Dylan is? Okay. What else? Should I be doing something else to help him? Stay by his side and keep an eye on him. Try to stay quiet so that you don't surprise him. When Mr. Smith arrives, do as she says. If she needs you to do something, you listen to her, okay? You can do this, right? You're a big girl now. Yes, I am Dylan's big sister. I can do it. All right, let me get a hold of Miss Smith now. Don't worry, I'm on my way. Haley, you need to reply as soon as you see this message. Hi, honey. Sorry, I didn't notice your call. I'm at the grocery store to pick up some stuff I needed urgently. That's it? You just didn't notice? It, do you know what time it is now? Where the hell are you? Why aren't you at home with the kids? Oh, I thought you were going to be late tonight. Are you already home? The hell I am. Oh, I see. Sorry, Jacob, I, I shouldn't have left without the kids. I figured it would be all right since Dylan's asleep. But, and I knew what I was getting, so I would have gotten back in 15 minutes. Izzy said she would be okay, so I kind of depended on her. But it was irresponsible of me. I'm sorry. You knew what you were getting, huh? Well, how come you haven't been home all day? How far did you have to go to get this item? What? What are you talking about? I haven't been out all day. You're overreacting. It's been less than 10 minutes since I've left the house. If you're going to lie to me, you should have prepared a better one. You think I don't know anything? Don't underestimate me or your daughter. Jacob, I don't know what you're talking about. You're scaring me. I'm scaring you? Give me a break. You were scaring me. You left Izzy with Dylan today. You actually made her stay home instead of going to school so she could watch Dylan for you. Are you out of your mind? Why the hell would you leave an eight-year-old with a baby? What? Who gave you that story? Why would I do anything like that? Izzy told me herself. And I fully believe my daughter. Especially since you're not home right now. Jacob, let's be realistic. Izzy is only eight years old. She can be dramatic sometimes. And in case you didn't know, that's what eight-year-old girls do. They lie and make up stories all the time. Especially if there's something that's bugging them. Are you serious? You were okay with calling your own daughter a liar to get away from what you have done? I'm in disbelief right now. I'm so ashamed of you. I never thought you would do such a thing. So you won't believe me, huh? What a cruel husband you are. Why are you putting this all on me in the first place? You have no right to lecture me. What? Yeah, I made up some stupid excuses, and I guess it was wrong of me to leave the kids on their own, but... You can't tell me this is all my fault. You haven't even been around. So you want to be defiant now? You abandon your children. Not for a couple of minutes, but all day. You risked Izzy and Dylan's safety. Do you not see what you've done? I can report you to the police right now. I said I'm sorry, all right? But don't you think Izzy is old enough to take care of herself? She's eight years old. She's almost in her teens. No, I do not think she's old enough. Besides, this is not even about Izzy's age. I don't think you realize the seriousness of what you've done. I don't think you realize the seriousness of my situation. I take care of Dylan 24-7 without a break. Do you know how hard that is? It's inevitable that I feel I need time off. I did what I had to do to maintain myself. Damn it, Haley. Listen to yourself. You think taking a break is good enough excuse to abandon them at home? Dylan was taken to the hospital in exchange for it, you know? Are you alright with that? What? What are you talking about? I said Dylan was taken to the hospital. While you were out maintaining yourself, Dylan became sick. Guess how I found out? It was Izzy. 
She messaged me on her tablet. She was so scared and didn't know what to do. So I called Mrs. Smith to come over and check on Dylan while I rushed back. Is he all right? God, Haley, stop it. Don't pretend like you were suddenly worried about your son. It's really gross. Excuse me? Of course I'm worried about my son. I'm not pretending. I'm his mother. Stop fooling around and tell me he's okay. If you were seriously concerned for your kids, you never would have left them in the first place. Or are you actually stupid enough to believe that nothing would happen? Then I would never find out? Well, Haley, you are a serious fool if you believe that is what happened. Whatever, Jacob. I still need you to tell me how he's doing. Is he still at the hospital? If he is, then tell me which hospital he's at. I'm coming right away. You know he needs me. As hard as it is to believe you were his real mom, you are. Unfortunately, so for old time's sake, I will tell you, he's fine. Nothing serious. So in regards to his health, you have nothing to worry about. Where is he? Which hospital was he taken to? I'm not telling you because you don't need to know. You will not be seeing the kids again. Then I'm divorcing you right away. I do not want you anywhere near my children, so I am not giving away the kids' whereabouts. What? You are joking, right? Where is all this coming from? Cut it out, Jacob, now. I will not accept any of that. It doesn't matter what you accept or don't accept. The court will decide whether you need to or not in the end. But as far as I see it, you're not eligible to be Izzy and Dylan's mother. You put them in danger. And now that I know who you really are, I refuse to stay married to you. You have crossed the line, Haley. Staying as family will do no good to anyone. You think you can take care of them? Who's been taking care of them all this time? Not you. It has been me and me only. All you cared about was work. You can't suddenly act like you're the big guy. Who the hell do you think you are? Don't make me laugh. You make it sound like you've been around. Guess what? Your own daughter told me where you've been going lately. You've been going out to play poker at the casino, haven't you? That's why you kept saying we didn't have enough money. Because you've been spending what I earned for the family on gambling. Unbelievable, Haley. Just unbelievable. Uh, no, you got it wrong. I've never been to the casino or have played poker before. Besides, Izzy is not old enough to understand any of this. This is just a misunderstanding. Or maybe she's just being rebellious and making up stories. She's probably just trying to get back at me for not letting her take piano lessons. You're right. She might not understand what kind of place the casino is, but she knew that you've been there to play cards. You've been calling the casino to reserve yourself a spot at the table. You didn't even care that she heard you make those calls, did you? Well, let me tell you, you have underestimated your daughter. Izzy is much smarter than you think. But... Listen, Jacob, yes, I, I have been to the casino to have a good time. It was only a couple of times, though. I never even used that much money. Not that much money? Seriously? I just checked your joint account. Where's all the money I transferred every month? Then why is there nothing left in the account? The only truth you have told me was that we don't have much money. But that is because of you. No wonder you don't want to pay for piano lessons. Hey, why did you check our account? We agreed that I am in charge of handling our finances. How did you even know the login password? You're not supposed to know. You saved your login information on the computer, dummy. What a huge mistake on my end to let you handle my money. You have been irresponsible with our children and our money. This is a nightmare. Just to be clear, I'm looking for ways to get that money back from you. Not only have you put my children in danger, but you also used up the money that was supposed to be used for their education. Don't think you're getting away with this. I'm coming after you, so you better be ready. Shortly after, I officially filed for divorce from my wife. Because she has spent money that would have belonged to both of us, and because she has spent it on gambling, the court ordered her to pay me back what would have been my share. It wasn't the entire amount she had used, but I am satisfied with the result, and and that I got some payback from her. 
Despite what she had done to the children, Haley still fought for their custody. Since Haley has been the main caretaker of the children while I was busy working, it was true that she had much more hands-on experience raising Izzy and Dylan. However, the court saw the seriousness of Haley's neglect and ruled that I take sole custody of my children. Since the divorce, I have been taking care of Izzy and Dylan as a single father. As hard as it is, spending more time with them has been great and I feel that I have learned a lot about them. The kids have been through a sad experience with their mother. I will do my best to support them as their only parent and, and keep them away from any more harm.